Okay, let's go. Hi, we are Amik Han, a team of civil engineering from Rancid University. Today, we will present about the seismic resistant mobility. So our team consists of five members, Yadu Tombi, and Nemo, Aukazin, Chibuzin, and Yidun Suwa. So let's check our model right now. Uh, in this structure, we use two types of brazing, uh, crop brazing and free inverted brazing. Uh, the bubbles are using crop brazing is uh, to support the column and beam and it can resist the sesame wave. Uh, that come from the size of the building. Uh, I like the crop brazing. We use the free inverted brazing at the size that can withstand the compressive load. Uh, the free inverted brazing are more resistant in compressive load than the uh, crop basin and it can uh, provide the excellent stability and uh, compressive form. Each floor of our building is like uh, constructed with like horizontal brazing and actually these brazings can effectively distribute the load and remain stable during the seismic event. Uh, from top to bottom, the column are built with truss. Uh, these truss provide additional lateral support preventing the columns from backlink and assessment forces. They are crucial for maintaining the overall integrity of the structure. The combination of V-inverted and x breezings, strong floor slabs with horizontal breezing, and truss on columns ensures that our buildings can resist seismic forces effectively. Apart from this, we have tested our model using uh, simulated seismic forces and the results show that our building can support required 8 kg weight and can maintain its structural integrity under seismic loads. Thank you for watching. We believe we are champion. Go Amerika. Together, we build stronger. Wish us luck! Bye -bye.